You know, religion wants you to die for him. Relationship, he died for you. Now you're willing to give up your life, right? It makes sense? But religion says you've got to do this, this, and this for him to accept you. You're accepted just how you are. He loves you just the way you are, but he loves you way too much to leave you in this condition. Yeah, that's good. To the bent over woman, woman you were loosed. To the dead body of Lazarus, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth, John 11, 43. Other instances of healing occurred when people touched the hem of his garment. They just got near him and the virtue flowed. You know, I've actually had people walk up to me after I come out of the prayer room, I prayed up, they walk by me, they're like, whew, they get like, the presence of God is rolling off of me, right? Or they'll put their hand on my shoulder and their shoulder will be healed. They'll feel something go up and they'll just get healed, touching. Why? Because you have an anointing from the Holy One. And when there's work to be done, the anointing does work. It displaces the works of darkness. People either get riled up around me if they got demons in them, or the demons go silent around me, and they can't talk. People say, when I'm around you, there's this peace, and I can't explain it. But when you leave, it's like I'm tormented again. Or they'll come up to me, or they'll say, they actually say this kind of behind my back, like, I don't like that guy can't stand to be around him. Every time I'm around him, I get angry. Wonder why. <laughs> Come out in the name of Jesus. Feeling better? It's better than a Motrin. As many as touched him. People touched the hem of his garment in Matthew 9, 20. As many as touched him were made well in Mark 6, 55 through 56. Now, if it was good enough for Jesus, and Jesus is the example and the disciples then followed that pattern, why are we doing it any other way? Who has bewitched us that we should not obey the pattern of the Gospels and the book of Acts? When did we change the pattern and improve upon Jesus' model? Let's see. Jesus, God in the flesh, in all points tempted, yet without sin, sinless, express the image of the Father, Never did anything of himself, only did that which he saw the Father doing, the things that the Father does. The Son does likewise, John 5, 19. That ah, was pretty good model, Jesus. We got a better way. <laughs> now, it's silly when you think about it. Yeah. But how did it happen to us? Yeah. We need to get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. The disciples followed the same pattern. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. Acts 5.12. Peter and John said to the crippled man at the gate, beautiful. Silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And immediately strength came into his ankle bones, and he began to walk and leap and praise God. And because of this miracle, it opened the door for the gospel to be preached. And in Acts 4, 4, 5,000 got saved. The reason that God does miracles, signs, and wonders is because he loves his people that are lost. And also, it sets up a platform for people to believe that Jesus is truly raised from the dead. Amen. In the 41 instances... Where healings occurred, I think 28 of them had an evangelistic result. Don't quote me on that statistic specifically. So when you are out in the marketplace or at Walmart or at Starbucks, and you can even slip in and get a few healed in church sometimes if the pastor doesn't see you. Now, at this church, the pastor would join in with you, and he would rejoice. Other places you go in, somebody gets healed, they look at you like, what are you doing healing the sick in my church? You're making me look bad. I don't teach that for today because I don't believe it and I don't have the power. Right. Don't come back here. But didn't that happen to Jesus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of the 40 instances of the Holy Spirit moving in the book of Acts, 39 of them were outside the local church. So that's really where our mission field is at. Jesus never said, go into all the churches and preach the gospel. Yeah. <laughs> go into all the world and these signs will follow you because you believe in me, he said. And we're closing. This miraculous of healing was the key that unlocked the door for the gospel to be preached to those standing by. Because when somebody sees somebody they've known for a long time, and they've called them on the phone, and they've got chronic pain, and 
They feel bad for them and empathy. And all of a sudden they're healed and they've got this glow on their face and they're in love with Jesus. They're like, I can't deny that. This wasn't a miracle I saw on television that might have been staged. And by the way, the majority of the miracles on TV are real. You don't believe me, go to one of those services and tap in and take the names of the people beforehand and you can watch them get healed. Because God's in the healing business. Mm -hmm. He loves to fly like an eagle. Let his spirit carry me. <clears throat> Here's the final illustration I want to give you. If you'll turn with me to Acts chapter 9 verse 40. 9 verse 40. Acts chapter 9 verse 40 and we're closing. We're going to have communion. We're going to get healed. And there's emotional healing. There's physical healing. There's spiritual healing. There's mental healing. There's all kinds of different activities that can take place in healing. Acts chapter 9, verse 36. Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha. Can women be disciples? Well, according to the Bible, here's a disciple named Tabitha. So if you think because you're a woman you can't be utilized by the Lord this way, read the Bible. Right? Neither is neither Jew nor Greek nor slave nor free, nor male nor female in Christ. Galatians, I think, 3.28. Tabitha is a woman's name. She's a disciple. Phoebe is a deaconess in Romans 16.1. Priscilla and Aquila. In Acts 18, Priscilla had top billing, I might add. Well, what about Deborah, the prophetess, that judged Israel for 20 years? Okay, so get all that religious thinking out of us. Yes, you're qualified. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick. Certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is Dorcas, this woman... The disciple, a woman, was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick, tap of the disciple, and died. Bummer. Oh, well, we've gotten here too late. And she was a good woman. Oh, well, I will perform the funeral service, and maybe they'll have an evangelistic effect at the funeral service. No! And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, who when they had washed, they laid her in the upper chamber. And forasmuch as Lydda was nigh unto Joppa, and the disciples heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose with them. When he was come, they brought him to the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by weeping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas had made. She was a maker of purple while she was with them alive. But now she's dead. Verse 40. Peter got rid of them all. Put them all out. See, sometimes you've got to get unbelief out of the room. Yeah. You've got to get the weepers and the wailers. Don't get me wrong, there's a time and a season for all that. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine crawled into his brother's casket who was electrocuted when nobody was around. And he laid on him mouth to mouth, face to face, hands to hands, and believed God to raise him from the dead. He did it seven times. It didn't happen. But you want to know what happened? He got out of that casket. Now that's a man, of, he's, he's, he's doing the stuff. He knows from beyond a shadow of a doubt that the devil didn't take his brother at this point. His brother wants to stay where he's at. Mm -hmm. He gave it a try, didn't he? Yeah. But you know what? God will use that man to raise the dead on the mission field at some point or in the United States. Why? Because he tried it with his own brother. Mm -hmm. You might say, well, that's crazy. That's foolish. It didn't work. So what? At least he got out of the boat and did it. Yeah. 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 And you want to know what? Next time he's in that position... That person's going to come up out of the casket. And you want to know what's going to happen? People are going to believe that Jesus is raised from the dead. Why? Because when he said, I am the resurrection and the life, 